What is happening guys? My name is Jamos and today we are, I'm back. I am back from um, a little trip I did overseas and I'll tell you what was absolutely incredible. We'll provide you a full review on my trip uh, in the next video, but I'm so damn excited. I am back and I'm gonna give you my favorite metal albums of 2023 so far. So granted, 2023 has been an okay year for metal. I haven't been that impressed with 2023, just to be honest with you, but I have found 10 fantastic albums of the year so far. The year 2023 hasn't been that great for metal in my opinion, and that's just my opinion. You may disagree all you want, but I'm just gonna give you my honest opinion that there has been some good black metal albums, some good death metal albums, um, some good heavy metal albums this year, not up to par with 2020, 2021, and 2020 metal albums at the moment. And I do apologize for not uh, uploading consistently uh, due to my travels. Like I, I traveled around Italy, um, explored Southern Italy, uh, went on a cruise to go to Croatia and Greece. So um, I certainly will give you an update, a review on uh, the amazing travel I had over the past month. But let's get to business. I'm gonna give you 10 albums that I absolutely love this year. And there will be some content consistently coming your way throughout the next few weeks. We um, unfortunately had to skip May and June best metal albums. I think even April's best metal albums of the year. The burnout is gone and I'm so damn excited uh, to give you my uh, favorite lists of 2023 so far. Let's talk about the first album. I was highly anticipated this album and I'm so glad they released this record. We're talking about Asagul's Ixoctrillium and the album Astral Constellations of the Magical Zodiac. <laughs> This album is a pretty good album, but uh, one of the main problems for this LP is that it is a very long album, stretching around about three, two and a half to three hours. This album can be very good with some great guitar work. As Asagul's vocals are absolutely fantastic. It sounds like a demon is raging in your ear. So really good melodies that do remind me of uh, Sayolf. And Dive Reckon of the Serpent Telepath. To me, this is like this feels like part three of Dive Reckon of the Serpent Telepath. It is the same old Ixic Trilling you expect. Funeral, the album they released in January, was more slower, was more experimental. This album has some very good vocals on this. Harsh and aggressive demonic vocals at times utilizes those clean vocals. So at times it does sound like a fantastic historic trillium album. Main part is that it is a quite a long album to seek your teeth in. But overall, you've got great songs like Disc 3 has two 20 minute, 20 plus minute songs and they are delightful, they really are. There are really some cool orchestral moments that make this quite an epic and atmospheric album and there are some great melodies, but a lot, I think a lot of people would complain that it does sound the same like other Aesop Trillium albums, but it is going to make it in my top 10 metal albums of the year so far. Next up, we go to In Flames and the album Forgone. A great alternative metal album with some elements of melodic death metal, a lot of sprinkles of old In Flames and a lot of sprinkles of new In Flames. So really good songs on this album, quite melodic. Sold them at Knotfest and they were absolutely fantastic. State of Slow Decay is a banger. Full Gone Part 1 and Part 2 is amazing. You get some really cool instrumental breaks and his vocals are absolutely fantastic on this. You know, there's those clean vocals and those harsh aggressive vocals as well. And the guitar work is magnificent. In Flames for Gone is a complete album, easily one of my favorite albums of 2023 so far. Next up is Insomnia Anno 1696. Where is the light? Where is the 
an album I was most patiently waiting for, and I'll tell you what, this album did not disappoint. Sega's told us affiliates of the Grease black metal band Rotting Christ throughout White Christ is an absolute banger. It's a really slow, melodic death metal. At times, incorporate elements of doom metal, some really good utilization of the keyboards as well, and the vocals are absolutely fantastic. It's, expe it's what you expect from Insomnium. Dark, ambient, melodic, melancholic, melodic death metal. That's a lot of M's, but I tell you what, it is absolutely fantastic. Godforsaken, Lillian is such a great song. Starless Paths, energetic in your face at times. The Unrest, the Rapid, so many great songs on this. That's why Anno 1696 is going to be in my top 10 metal albums of 2023. I just love the pure emotion the vocalist provides throughout this album. Some great guitar work, amazing solos, the riffs are there. It is just very punchy. The production has strong a kinetic feel towards the listener. So next up we talk about the vegan band, Cattle Decapitation and the album Terror Sight. <laughs> This is a pretty heavy album by Cattle Decapitation. It is not their best album. I feel like Death Atlas is um, a little bit, uh, in terms of musical stand, a little bit higher than Terror Sight. But Cattle Decapitation experiment on this album. Yes, there are hard hitting riffs and just insane percussion, but the vocal work is very different on this. Of course, Travis Ryan incorporates those harsh, aggressive vocals to those cleaner vocals and those insane vocals. Saw them live at Bloodstock in August last year, and I thought they were absolutely fantastic. Travis Bryan, easily one of the best metal vocalists out there. The Storm Upstairs is an absolute banger, along with Photic Doom, and Just Another Body, a cool progressive piece by Cattle Decapitation. Reminds me of Death Atlas, a 12 minute song. But I really do love the message Cattle Decapitation is sending on this, and Terracite is just a heavy, heavy, hard-hitting album with just so many surprises along the way with some cool instrumental passages and the songwriting is just terrific. Next up we go slow and we're talking about some funeral doom metal. It's the Howling Void into Darkness Ever More Profound. <laughs> This was released early this year, January 6, 2023, and this is a very slow, ambient, atmospheric, epic Funeral Doom album with some great slow crushing riffs mixed with some really highly utilized keyboards and piano work that make things quite gloomy and melancholic. And I absolutely love the mixtures. The mixtures like a concoction that you put into a saucepan and you stir it up, or could I say a cauldron, and you stir her up as a witch is ready to summon her spell on someone. This is just fantastic, dark, depressing funeral doom that I absolutely love. Impenetral Gloom is easily one of the best funeral doom album, uh, funeral doom songs of the year. Deeper, darker waters. It's like a 14-minute epic. Just so many great songs on this. Only four songs are in about 45 minutes, but definitely uh, listen if you're a funeral doom metal enthusiast. Next up, we head to the could you say the best black metal album of the year? Imperium Decadence Into Sorrow Evermore. This is just a terrific album from start to finish. Been a big fan of Imperium Decadence for quite a few years now. Love how epic and majestic this album feels. It's atmospheric black metal. The vocals are insane, but they are amazing. Amazing melody, some folkier edges for Imperium Decadence. And yeah, When We Are Forgotten was a fantastic album. Some really good songs. Truth Under Stars is such an epic. Aurora, Elysian feels that slow melancholic build. November Monument, Memories of Raging River. There are just so many great moments on this album. I absolutely love it. Songwriting is terrific. It's energetic. It's in your face. It's what you expect from Imperium Decadence. And it's, in my opinion, the best black metal album of 2023 so far. We head on to some melodic death metal, you could say. It reminds me of the Somnium a lot. Air Not Meant For Us by Fires In The Distance. Colorless 
This is just a terrific album from start to finish with every single song just memorable in my opinion. Amazing guitar work mixed with some great riffs, mixed with, mixed with some great riffs, some really slow build ups, great songs like Wisdom of Falling Leaves, the, the, the just infectious riffs throughout crumbling of a Crum throughout crumbling pillars of a tranquil mind, Sama Merciless, great songs like Idiopathic Despair, just so many great songs along the way, with so many surprises as well. I do love the triumph sound of this. Production's phenomenal, drums may be a little bit higher in the mix, but it works overall and I absolutely love it. And Air Not Meant For Us by Fires In The Distance. It's just a terrific, terrific album. Now we go on to what I think is the best heavy metal album, traditional heavy metal album of 2023. It's none other than the Lightbringer of Sweden and the album The New World Order. This album is amazing. If you like bands such as Iron Maiden, Judas Priest, or even like Wasp, <laughs> you're gonna really enjoy this. I tell you what, absolutely love it. Just so many great melodies, so many infectious riffs, amazing, amazing guitar work on this, amazing solos. It has it all. There's a lot of emotion. I love the lyrics as well, the message they convey. The Beast is Rising, amazing song. Free, Angel, Free the Angels. Songs like Where the Eagles Fly, easily the best song. I'm saying it's easily the best song of 2023. It is so damn good, especially that chorus, that slow ballad is amazing. Lucifer is such a fun, energetic song, Back From The Dead, Fly Away, just so many great songs on this album, and I have played this album countless times. The New World Order by The Lightbringer Sweden is a must listen if you like heavy metal. So next up, my favorite metal album of 2023 so far. This was released on January 13th of this year. It's none other than Ahab and the album The Coral Tombs. This is, this was a highly anticipated album for me and you know what, they did not disappoint. Ahab really harnessing that slow funeral doom mixed with elements of black metal and progressive metal as well. Great songs like Colossus of the Liquid Graves, Professor Aronek's Descent into the Vast Oceans, that introduction, so damn good. Got songs like The Sea is a Desert, The Crushing Rifts Throughout the Coral Tomb, mixed with those harsh and just demonic vocals, mixed with those clean vocals. The guitar work is absolutely magnificent. Songs like The Maelstrom featuring Esoteric, wow. It's a match made in heaven. The Ahab, The Coral Tombs is easily my favorite metal album of 2023 so far. Nothing can compare it, to be honest. I absolutely love it. And I just love the pure chaos this album provides, the pure emotion this album provides. It just feels like you are, you're just swimming into the deep, dark ocean, ready to find something horrific, ready to find a tentacle monster. It just tells a story and it is just terrific. It really is, absolutely adore it. That's why Ahab, The Coral Tombs, is my number one metal album of 2023 so far. So yeah, that was my top 10 albums of 2023 so far. Hope you did enjoy it. The next video, I'm gonna give you my, my actual holiday review and I cannot wait to show you what I've explored throughout Italy, Croatia, and Greece. Certainly is going to be quite a juicy video, that's for sure. Finally had a fun time, and you know what? It is back to business, ready for work again, and um, I'll tell you what, guys, I am so broke at the moment. I need some money, but um, anyway, starting work tomorrow. Cannot wait to start work and get the dosh again, but I am broke, really broke. But anyway, not for you to worry about. What a, what a really interesting year for metal so far. Probably missed out a few, probably missed a, few, a lot of albums. But um, to be honest, I really, 
there, these are the 10 albums that I go back to over and over again. Oh, and I also forgot, hello, I also forgot Catatonia of Sky Void of Stars. <laughs> Yeah, Catatonia is amazing. I said Ahab was my number one album. Ahab is my number one album. Um, the silly me forgot the plan. Catatonia is inc incredible. I just love every single song on it. It's melancholic, at times it's doomy, but it also has elements of progressive metal. And Jonas's vocals are just so damn good. It's, the songs are very catchy on this. The production is really good and it's easily one of my favorite Catatonia albums at the moment. I just love the Drew vocals Jonas provides. The great guitar solos you are getting on this album as well. The riffs are very infectious in tone and yeah, Catatonia would be on this list as well. I totally forgot about Catatonia. I just remember Catatonia then. But anyway, hope you guys did enjoy it. That is my final, that's my list finalized. Silly me forgot to put Catatonia on it. But yeah, we'll put, I've only had, I've only got nine listed here. So we'll, we'll throw in Catatonia next year, Howling Void and the Pyramid Decadence. Cause I've played this, that album a lot. So yeah, I hope you did enjoy the best metal albums of 2023 so far. And I will see you in the next one.